What's up, Penangus? This is DF Class 97, and uh, this is different. Now, excuse the poor quality. I am actually using uh, OBS, my streaming equipment, to record something because I, I just want to experiment. Um, so basically, I'm going to try doing something a little different, whatever. Uh, this is basically Mugen, as you can tell. But this time, we're actually doing something a bit different. Um, for one, we're kind of testing out characters. Now, I'm no pro in fighting games by all means, but I do know the basics, and I uploaded recently a She-Hulk combo video, and it's something different from my normal Mugen Online sessions. And I actually had fun with it, and uh, I actually got some decent feedback. Now, this is an experiment, so if I do continue this, I will obviously up the quality, up the look. I didn't put any background thing except the subscribe button and a face cam. Only because, like I said, this is an experiment. Now, if I do continue something like this, I will obviously hype up the quality. Um, maybe do some more, uh, you know, something. But I need your feedback if you guys want to see more of this, I guess. And uh, better quality. But yeah, excuse the poor quality. This is a very straight-to-upload type of thing. I'm not editing anything. Now, um, out of all characters in the Mugen universe, I chose Double D. Now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, I was just floating around, uh, messing around in Mugen Fighters Guild, and all of a sudden I found a interesting post. Now, this is the Mugen Fighter, you know, the MFG basically has this thing called the uh, Character of the Year or Character of the Month. And they have, and they usually showcase, and the winners are usually these really high quality characters that I actually have some of them. And I actually like a lot of the characters. Now, this one, now, <laughs> what a way to start a new series, I guess is to have this double D from Ed and Eddie. Now the old, now the last version of Ed and Eddie on Mugen that existed was by if I can get I have the, both the original and the remake. This is the original by Wario Man. Now I I don't want to shit on any creator cuz I don't know how to create characters as much as others do. I just simply, well, I edit my own characters, you know, for my projects or whatever, and I do have a a clear, a very clear understanding on the coding and how things like this worked. But to be fair, the, I've made a character. I've made at least one or two characters in my life. It's way better than this. But aside from that, I don't shit on creators. I'm just saying that this is a, bear, a very bad character. I even remember going to the Mugen Wiki and saying this is actually the Hall of Shame. This is one of the worst characters they got on the Wiki. And that's saying a lot because although Mugen has a lot of high quality stuff, it also has a lot of low quality stuff Ugh. but um basically um, long story short I, I've already made this very long story I'm sorry to keep you waiting but this is basically interesting for me because I actually I had this character years ago because um I, you know before I took Mugen seriously I just took it as a uh, you know as a regular thing like oh cool you can have these characters in and I still kinda of believe in that Mugen mentality where it should be able to have like some sort of randomness to it, but at least nice looking randomness, like high quality randomness. And um, as far as collection purposes, this character can be added. But like I said, I am a huge freaking fan of Ed, Ed and Eddie. It's my favorite cartoon of all time. And when I saw this character, I freaking flipped out. Uh, and I also saw the Ed and the Eddie version, which are okay as far as characters go. They're very basic, but at least they're more complete than this. Um, and this Double D character is known as to be one of the worst characters ever made. At least as far as the cartoon characters go. And that's saying a lot because there is steep competition for shit characters as far as in the cartoon genre. Um, so we're going to look at this and while I was going through the characters of the month, a couple, uh, a couple uh, nominees are for this version of Double D, which is by Omega Bros and Beanfan112. Now, I am familiar with the name Bean Fan, but I am not familiar with his creations. I think he has made some mixed opinion characters. I haven't really known about this. It's just that there's a character that is Double D from Ed and Eddie and actually has someone saying that it should be worth it, a character of the month on MFG. And it's actually gotten a couple votes. Not many, but then again, you know, characters. On, there's a lot of good characters there. That same area, I also found a Infinite Style Donald, which... I might replace the original Dark Donald that I took months editing, but let's not get out of, let's not uh, get off track. Now we're gonna compare and contrast the Double D 
This is the original, and this is the uh, remade Double D. And believe it or not, this was actually made... Oh, shit. This was actually made in Christmas of uh, 2014, so this is actually a very recent character. This is an old news. Now, we're going to obviously compare the original to the remake. Now, as you can, if you do remember, the original's criticism were mostly for being unfinished, uh, poor quality moves, and it is basically a sprite swap of Kung Fu Man, and not a good one at all. Hell, it, it's, very, it's very unfinished. Like, let me show you something. Um, the standing animations and all that, look, already we're on the turning animation, and there is no hitbox, no hurtbox. And if you are, if you don't understand, the blue means where your character gets hit, and the red means is like the hit, the attack itself. And the blue basically is basically where you're going to get hit. Now, the turning, crouching, stand to crouch, crouching, a lot of stuff are missing, especially the jump animation, especially the jump ones. Let me show you the jump. The jump itself have no hitbox or hurtbox. You can literally jab once on a character and continue jumping, and you're basically... You're basically invincible, and you could win a game like that, which is freaking retarded. Um, now, as I said, this character is very, very low polished. <laughs> this hitbox is, oh my god, wow, and that's the heavy. Now, as far as sprites go, I can't shit on them, because this is actual sprites from a uh, game. I think it was the Edinetti Jawbreaker Quest, I don't remember. Um, but these are not, like, sprite edits, but like I said, I can, I can, the sprites are okay. I can... I, I could I could I could basically let him go for sprites, but for something like that, for a light kick, this is very poor creation. Now we're gonna now this is blind. I have not played this character before. I just downloaded him because I'm like, oh my god, a double D character that might not only might be decent, but it's actually more than fucking one megabyte because uh, when I downloaded this character, the original is basically 700 kilobytes, which is basically you could download this quick with freaking like 95 internet speed 1995 internet speed now this character 7 megabytes which already can which I can already confirm is better <laughs> because there's more content on the character uh, there's actually a, a lot of good palette selection and a lot more stuff and this is and I can tell you right now this is not a Kung Fu Man uh, sprite, uh, sprite edit alright here we go so we're gonna look at the character first we're gonna look at some things um, oh shit Looks like he's holding a white dick. Oh my god, that's the turkey baster! Or squirt gun! Yo, that's cool! Oh! I think I... Re this looks very familiar! This might be a sprite edit, but I remember playing a fan-made Flash game slash, uh... Dreamcast Homebrew, which is using the, uh... A Final Fight engine, or Beast of Rage? I don't remember. Uh, I think it was Beast of Rage. And it was an Ed and Eddie Nightmare on Ed Street, like... It's basically a, uh, a fan-made game, which is a, a brawler, a beat-em-up style, and it's a very fun, uh, very fun game. And I recognize it, because I think I remember one of their special moves was this. Alright, so I can already tell there's some, there's some new stuff. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe he's got some Dalsam moves I don't know about. It looks like some of his sprites were fixed up, like maybe there are some edit sprites here. But this looks very complete. Oh my gosh, there's actually a, uh, minus the black face going on. There's Naz. I saw Naz somewhere. This is this has got me interested. Okay, all this black stuff. I'm guessing this is probably uh, like hyper combo like backgrounds. It's just that when I open up a character, certain certain palettes and sprites don't work well because I don't know. F uh, Fighter Factory Three has that issue. And yeah, there is. It's, it might not look like that when I play it. Yeah, I will be testing both characters. I'm very excited to play this character. Holy crap. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head straight into it. Um, we're gonna play the original, believe it or not. Now I'm gonna switch cameras real quick, and um, I'm just gonna test both characters. Now we're gonna test the Ed and Eddie uh, Double D original character first. So yeah, ten minutes in, I'm I'm super excited for this character. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped. Like, there's more moves to this character. There might e this might even be a decent character. Like, I'll probably, if there's anything broken with the character, like damage, or if I need to fix something, I'll probably edit it for my personal collection. Alright, here we go. This is the original Double D. I'm going to put on debug mode, um, the hitboxes. Now, as you can tell, I mean, it's okay stance-wise, but when you start walking backwards already, your back, you know, the hitbox is already a little wonky. Now, that's the jab. Now, let me see if I can slow this down. Is that, is that a slow? I'm actually doing normal slowdowns. 
uh, I'm using the debug engine, uh, debug codes. So the slowdown here is actually slow down. Now let me try putting it back to normal. Okay, I think this is normal speed. Um, yeah, you can already tell that there's some things here. This is basically a look at that. That is no, no. Look, you could do this the entire. Watch this. I'm gonna tell you how to win with uh, double D real quick. Now that's it. I'm j literally jumping backwards. Barely, you can barely get a hitbox there. See, it blinks, but that's about it. If you just keep jumping straight up and down, you are invincible practically. And he has no air attacks. I'm pressing all the buttons. He has no air kicks, air punches, nothing. Um, he does have a. Okay, well that's obviously basic. He has a basic chain, and this is the heavy punch. Pretty pathetic compared to the to the <laughs> to the medium. I can't believe I just did a combo with this freaking character. Wow. All right, so it's a chain character, and look at this. Look at this. This is poorly made, and the heavy kick does nothing. Is there a grab on this character? You can't even grab with him. Either he has no grab or look at oh, wow. Well, this character sucks. There's no more to it. He has no extra moves. Taunt just blinks. And he has that secret. Oh, okay. He's got a projectile. An invisible slow that hitbox. For something that small, that is unacceptable. Couldn't he throw something better? And it only works for one button. Like, it only works for the light. I'm gonna do something stupid. One, two, three. Okay. One, two. He has no crouching. Oh my gosh. You can do this. Jab and crouch. Because the opponent... Let me see something. You can't... His crouching has no hurt box. Okay, so this character sucks, as we can tell. This character is terrible. Um, and it only has one palette, too. And I'm a palette person. I like multiple colors on my character. Now we're going to try out the new version. And like I said, I'm blindly going to this. I'm going to assume this is probably a MVC style edit. I'm not sure. But I am excited. And I hope you are, too. Now, I said this is a pretty awkward start. But hey, I'm a huge fan of Ed and Nettie. I'm surprised that they actually that, that someone actually took the time and effort to make something out of this character. Um, so I'm pretty excited. So let's see how this character goes. I, I don't have a rating system, but I remember these are tests, so these are just blind tests. Oh my god, wow, okay. <laughs> Let me be honest here, okay, I understand that this is a palette edit. It might not be the b oh my god, there's crouching animation. Oh my god. Oh! Yo, just looking at the crouching animation makes me be like, yo, let's go! <laughs> Sorry for no face cam, it lags when I do it. Um... I can understand, I can I can accept that, you know, the, like the, the palette edit is kind of off with Double D's uh, Eddie palette, I can assume. Uh, I can understand it. I'm, I'm just going to, like, forget about any, like, issues. With, I'm just... Yo, those cartoon sound effects. Okay, okay, let's just start this. Oh, wait, what? Okay, there's a different intro. Okay, that reminds me of the intro that Eddie and I think Ed had in Mugen. All right. Now, let's put on hitbox mode. That's a light punch. And apparently, that's a third, I think that's Street Fighter 3 sound effects. Yeah, this is, okay. Four button character? Okay, fine. Okay, this is a weird jab. Okay. Okay. I think the hitbox works. Okay. The attacks are pretty fast, and you can barely see the hitboxes, so let me see if I can get a f uh, frame here. There. Now, <laughs> that is a little awkward. I mean, that's your crouching, for crying out loud. I mean, like I said, I'm really giving this character much more props in just the, in just the intro more than the, uh, than the original character. But, um, I mean, they could have maybe edit to, like, maybe put the knees, like, down. Okay. I know I'm very, I'm very technical. Okay. Um, this is a little bad. That's, I'm guessing, that is the crouching heavy punch, and I'm guessing this could be a launcher. Hitbox is weird. He is standing, not crouching. Now, again, this could be because of the limited sprite resources. I can understand that, but in my opinion, I could probably... You know what? When I'm done, I'll probably edit the sprites <laughs> and probably make this. But, uh, I mean, that's crouching. 
but like I don't think it was super hard to maybe crouch, uh, make a crouching animation since the sprites already are pixelized, but whatever. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, I mean, it is a big hitbox, finally, <laughs> a big hitbox, but again, the animation choice is a little awkward, uh, the sprite choice. Um, this is kind of, I have to pause it. Okay, so, there you go. That is, again, okay, I guess? I don't know. Like I said, it's the sprite resources. You know, they probably didn't have that much, but like I said, it could have been, it could have been much better. That's that's oh, that's cool. They actually got a taunt for the character. Alright, now let's actually put this character into... Uh, let's try the attack. Okay, already you got some uh, links. And the game is frozen. Okay. Okay, so you got some, so you got some links. And... Oh, this is a chain. What? Was that a dog song? Might be something busted. Up to four jabs. Four things. This could be an easy fix. Unless, unless you like your character to do some crazy stuff. That's an easy fix. Yeah, this is a pretty easy fix. Um, yeah, it's a pretty easy fix. All you need to do is kind of like slow down the frames on that, or maybe give some more animation, but I prefer slowing down the frames, and there you go. Um, you can fix those, uh, unless unless you want to keep the jabs like that, or, or something like that. But the only issue is that you can kind of, you can potentially just mash jab out of anything, or mash, light kick seems to have a lot of animation. Yeah, you can't, yeah, the kick animation is good. I mean, I gotta see what this guy, I, I, I gotta see what this guy wants out of this character. For all I know, it could be an MVC edit, and the chain and the uh, links are a little awkward. Because usually you want to make sure that they can't match the bat like, like this. Like, I don't know. Alright, let me see. Okay, you can actually get two heavy kicks. So maybe a reduce on frame. So that. Uh oh. So, as far as I can see, as far as I can say, okay, you can, you can, uh, wave dash with the character. Now, as, okay, the, um, now as far as that goes, you can mash jab, but, like, you can't hit it with it, so. Oh my god. Okay, that's unacceptable. Okay, some more pushback would be nice. Okay, that is an easy, okay, that's, okay, at least you get some of the sound bites in there. Now, that could have been an easy fix. Is this a corner only? No, you can potentially, okay, so if they added more pushback on some, okay, you don't even have to fix the, uh, fix the frames on some of the moves, but adding pushback, or like I said, may, yeah, it does need a frame adjustment. Because I can see maybe the pushback is so that you can do chains, but but then you can do like crazy things like just I don't know, just giving heavy punch some more frames would work because then you would have this problem. The pushback I can I can accept it if it's a, if it's a chain character, but this needs this needs more uh, less less frame uh, more frames so the characters in chain uh link combo so if you make the move slower basically adding frames is making the move slower now um okay oh okay so this character does have a MVC whoa whoa that's crazy okay so this character does have some MVC properties uh, okay so you can do one two into Oh, shoot, okay. No. I guess you could have made the launcher, like, a lot better. If you want to gain combos with it. Okay, so... Okay. okay, so let me try something here. Okay, so their attacks are basically similar to everything he has. 
Okay, now let's check out his special moves. I just want to head uh, quickly. Again, sorry if the frames are very cut. Like I said, this is a... I will fix these issues if um, you guys want more. If you guys want more... Holy shit, that's crazy. If you guys want more, I can obviously... Uh, I, I can... Um, instead of using OBS, I can maybe just use something like Fraps and basically edit the video so everything looks nicer. Like I said, this is just a straightforward recording. So excuse any of that. Um... Okay, so is com he has some combos. Uh oh. That is the hitbox of the Okay, this is even worse. Um the reason is obvious. The hitbox does not match with the sprite, so this is pretty bad. Um like I said, easy fix. Like some of these characters, some of these things, like you can just fix them. Maybe some more testing would have been nice. But so far this is miles, miles better than the original. But so far, it's still a little weird. So, misplaced hitbox. He only has one version of it. Okay, so he only has one. Wait, can you do this? Oh, there's a limit. Again, maybe added some more frames on that. Maybe on the end lag. Some more. Like, right when he puts his thing down. I don't have a frame by frame tool, so. But like, after he shoots it, adding more frames on that. So because this is a potential spam uh, TLD right here. I'm trying to get it. It's like when you do it from far, it actually works. I was doing it earlier. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh shoot, he has a super. Oh yeah, he does have a uh, yeah, super. He does have a super. It's quarter circle forward two and uh, punch. Now that. Okay, the super is okay. The super is okay. Whoa! Didn't know. Didn't know Double D was fucking Zeus over here. Now does he? Have oh shit! What was that? Really? Okay, that's not spammable because you see the an you, you see the animation. There's a lot of frames on it. There's more frames on it, so you cannot spam this. Let me show you the difference. Let me see. Can I slow it down? All right, that's a slow down version. Now I can make this a lot slower in editing software. Like I said, this is a this is just a test. I'm doing what, what I barely have, what I just have. Now if I slow the game down, you can tell that he puts it away a lot faster than a slingshot. See? That's why you can spam the slingshot and potentially let me see, I got my controller over here. You can potentially spam infinite it. So let me see if I can do it on my controller. I already did a combo out of it. Plus the hit stun is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, you can, you can. You, it's, uh, I guess a little more precise, but it shouldn't be a thing. And the hit stun seems ridiculous. Now maybe fix the hit stun on that move, or maybe it's just a character thing. But hit stun, add some more frames, and it's not spammable. Now, um, the turkey baster squirt gun was a nice addition. And oh, he's got assists. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty cool. He has a assist from the show. From that was Ed, basically, if you guys didn't notice. Now we're gonna talk about his hypers. Now you did see this one. Okay, my bad, I left the game on slow. <laughs> now, that super basically does 25 hits, and it takes a while, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna try it. I don't know what to say about that super. Now, I can understand the cart super, because, you know, he does have that sprite, and adding something like that wouldn't be too harmful. But this super, hold on, let me listen to the sound bite. It's 
super, no doubt, but I don't see, I don't remember any of that lightning from the show. Now, I could make the argument that it could be that episode where, you know, Ed goes, zup, 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 and, um, you know, when Double D teaches uh, Ed about conducting electricity, but this move just kind of feels weird. Or it could also fit the nothing but coincidences. It's a cool super, though. It just doesn't feel so adequate, but, and eh, whatever. Now, this is amazing. Okay, the damage the damage on the hype on the supers are okay. I mean, they're not too fuck. They're not too broken. Maybe during a maybe during a combo. I, I just like that they added this. It's cute. It's cute. See if they kept maybe if they kept like the knees and the way the legs are shaped, like the way the legs are, they don't have to uh, worry. They could have made some of their crouching moves not look like he's standing. If they just at least cropped this and maybe made an image like that, that would be work. That would work. Okay, now he has the Canadian squirt gun machine. Uh, basically, has a Canadian squirt gun uh, gat, uh, Gatling gun super, which is amazing. Hold on. I'm like a noob right now. Scrub up. Oh yeah, let's quarter circle back. Okay. Woo! Now the sprites, uh, it's kind of weird the way the water looks. It looks like ketchup. Kind of reminds me of SpongeBob's ketchup super. I will be talking about that character. Maybe, maybe not. Also, you can request characters for me to talk about. Uh, but I guess it works. Now I'm trying to figure out if that's all the supers he has. Maybe if the README file would try to maybe give me something. Give me a second here. Like I said, I actually think this character is miles better than the uh, original. However. I do think that, I do believe that, uh, I do believe that with some more fixing and maybe some sprite editing, this character could be much better. I mean, the sprites, as it is, like, pixelated like this, I could let that be, because I, I actually kind of like these sprites. These sprites don't look too bad. Um, custom sprites would be awesome, but uh, then I'd be asking a little bit, uh, for a little bit too much. But, uh, I do like the, um, I do like what they did here, but maybe some more things could have been added and would have been really cool. Alright, so the slingshot is down for it. And it's supposed to say that the EX version... Alright, apparently the EX version is... It, it takes 300 meter, but I can't... I can't get the EX version to exist, so I'm not sure what the commands are. Um... For that, but okay. Canadian squirt gun. I've done that. Assist Eddie. Really, he has the Eddie assist. Okay, so maybe giving the Eds more. Okay, the Ed assist. This is perfectly fine. In my opinion, I would have made his his animation walking faster so he can actually catch up because you can just easily jump over this. Let me see. Yeah, you can. The hitbox is okay, but um, making this a little faster would, would have made it more useful. Maybe he could have done something else instead of just walk up and slap him. Maybe use his tongue, or maybe do one of the super moves from his from the previous Ed and Eddie characters, or I don't know something else. Um, I don't know. If, if it would have been me, I would have probably made like a different super. Maybe throw some money at a, uh, at them, or use or something ridiculous. But uh, okay, I guess. Thunder, okay, so this move, hold on, let me see. Okay, something's wrong in the readme. It's supposed to be down forward AB that does the uh, uh, squirt gun, but apparently it's not. And the I hear thunder is actually quarter circle back and light punch, light kick. And this thing, it says AB, but it's totally, it's, it's wrong. I'm not sure. Maybe he has his commands or something. Like that. No way. A B. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it's his commands. Cause if you're gonna talk about keyboards, it's very, it's very. But if you're talking about which one represents light, medium, heavy kick and light, medium, heavy punch, A, B, C is kicks, and um, X, Y, Z are the punches. And the read means it's a little, it's it's uh, misinformed. The assists are correctly put. But the um, stuff like the slingshot, where it's down forward and kick, it's actually down forward and punch. And the Canadian squirt gun is supposed to be down back 
and or quarter circle back punch, but it's actually quarter circle forward kick. So just a little notes on that. But I do think this character has potential to be a lot better. Now as far as combos go, I haven't messed up. I'm not gonna mess with the combos. Now, if I'm bored, I'll probably make a combo video. Oh, whoops. If I'm bored, I'll probably make a combo video out of this character, but... Um... As it is, I, I'm just, I was just testing out the basics to see how this character functions. Okay, let me see if I can get a combo. Let me get Alright, so let me see if I can do a real quick combo. One, two, three. Oh, shit! Yo! You could do that in the air. Oh, we found a bug. Okay, so. Uh, apparently he has the air supers. Okay, I like that, but he's stuck in the air. And like I said, some simple fixes. Can he do this? Uh, I'll be, I'll be, it would be hilarious if he could do the Canadian score gun in the air as well. Or is it a ground only super? Let me, let me try something here. Yo, that was, that was really good. What? Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid here. Go. Cool. Like maybe fix the launcher hitbox so it actually connects into something. Make it a little bigger. So. Oh, you'd have to cheat the way. You'd have to squeeze in more jabs and yeah, it's like one, two, three. You should be able to do light and heavy into launcher, but you can't. You can't do that. And if they gave the launcher like a better hitbox, like make it more bigger. It would be able to, uh... Now, I do see a potential infinite ult. I do see potential legit infinites, not, uh, infinite links. But, like, I do see potential infinites and scary combos on this character. Like I said, with some more tight editing, you kind of, you could have... Okay, I already... Oh my god. Alright. I already found some crazy things you can do with this character. Okay. Well... Oh! Wow, that is incredible. Okay, I cannot connect light punch, medium punch, and into heavy into launcher, but whatever. Well, before I don't want to make this into um, this video super long. If you want to see more of these characters, or more, or not these characters, I mean, this character's pretty, I mean, like, compared to the original, this is a well-made character. But as a standalone character, with some more room, and with some more work and passion, this character might actually be really, really good. As it is right now, the main issues I see simply are just sprite cleanups are needed, and so maybe some different sprites. Um, some characters move, some of their moves are a little too fast for their own thing. And, um, I mean, other than that, I haven't explored any of the other palettes, but, uh, like I said, this is just basic. Now, thanks for watching. If you do want to see the show, but with different characters, maybe some more of higher quality, maybe some more of lower quality, just want to see my reactions if the character's that bad, uh, leave some info in the description, or, uh, I mean, not in the description, wow, I'm stupid, uh, in the comments if you want to see more. I will, uh, if anything, I will make them more quali higher quality and fix up all the issues. Like I said, I'm using OBS just because I want to just throw this video in without having to painstakingly edit everything, but if it is necessary, I will do it, and it will look a lot nicer, and I might actually have my, well, you know, beautiful face outside uh, for you guys to see, but um, as of now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Anyways, uh, I think this character is okay. That's my word. I do have a thin line. I do have a specific, you know, I do have very different levels. I mean, there's terrible characters, okay characters, and just really good characters, and good characters. I, I don't have a rating system like a, a 3 out of 5 IGN rating system, but hey, it, just take my word for it. It is an okay character. Uh, this is the best double D I've seen. Hopefully someone makes a better version. Maybe I'll end up making it, but again, it's for private use. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you want to see more, like this video and comment about a character you want to see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out and subscribe, Tanguses. Pendanguses? <laughs> okay, alright, you know, just, just for, uh, oh my god. Peace out and subscribe, Pendanguses!